This is Craig with Karshalton Advisory. In this video, we're going to go through part two of our practice tasks for Excel section 1.5 in the Excel core study guide. Let's get started. Begin by opening the Excel 15B workbook. Now you notice the icon for this is slightly different. Instead of the usual Excel image, it has that image with an exclamation mark in the lower right hand corner. And that is a, a warning to us that this workbook is going to contain macros. So we're going to open it here by double clicking. Now what we need to do is enable macros. Now because I've opened up this file, uh, it's no longer showing that option for me. So what we need to, what would normally be there and what you may see is a yellow bar across the top and it's going to ask you if you want to enable the content. In this case you'd select enable content in order to continue working in the workbook with macros. All right, next what we need to do is save a copy of the workbook uh, under a new name. And so we go to the Save As dialog box by selecting File, Save As. Here's where we change the name of the worksheet, or excuse me, the workbook. And we want to call this MOS Compatible. And the important thing here is changing the format. When we click the, on this section, it drops down to a list of all sorts of different compatible formats. In this case, we've been directed to make sure it's available for use by someone who's using an old version of Excel, so using Excel 2003. So we will select that as an option. We can save it in the same uh, file path that your other documents are in, and we will click Save. So it's going to come up with a, some warnings here is it's going to uh, tell us the things that won't work for this person in Excel 2003. So one is references to tables. So it's warning us that this is going to change and they won't be available. Um, there's a loss of fidelity and some of the styles that are in our workbook are not going to be carried over. Um, and so those are the, the two main things that are going to come up. So Excel is, I guess, smart enough to say, hey, you can do this, but you're going to have some changes when this happens. If that's important to you, then uh, you're going to have to ask uh, your, your colleague to uh, upgrade to a newer version of Excel. Uh, otherwise, uh, they're going to have to go without. But we're going to hit continue here. Now, because we saved a copy, our original document is unchanged. So even though it gave us the warning and those things that are going to be missing, and it's true in this particular file, they will be gone. However, we still have the original 15B uh, full file still on our computer that hasn't been changed since we did the save as command. Uh, finally, what we want to do is to save a copy of this workbook in a format that's going to both support macros and act as a template for us to use in the future. So we're going to do this in a similar manner. We're going to go into File, Save As. And in the options here, what we're going to do is go down to two things. One, we want to have a template. Two, we want it macro enabled. So this is going to be a file with the format XLTM, T for template, M for macro. Select it. Now, instead of calling it compatible, we're going to call it MOS template. Now, one other thing that you'll notice here is that's our file path has changed. Uh, and it's now in the custom office template section. And what that means is that when we save this in this particular file path, the next time we open up uh, the uh, Excel uh, in our template section, it's going to have this particular file for us. So I've saved that. I'm going to close down my Excel. I'm going to open up a new instance of it here. And so now when it pops open, if I go into this personal macro section, here is MOS template, the document that we just saved, always there for us. So this is actually handy if there's a particular style of workbook that you use frequently. You can get all your settings into it, set it up as a template, and then every time you open up Excel, a version of it is going to be available for you to use. Thanks for watching. This is Craig with Karshalton Advisory. Uh, make sure to share this with other people you know who are studying for this exam. If you have any questions or comment, leave them below the video. I'm usually pretty good at responding to them and, and answering any questions or concerns that you might have. Thanks so much for watching.